today we have the um, new GoPro Hero 10 and uh, super pumped about this one. I have the Hero 9 and honestly I, I don't have too many complaints about it. When they talk about the Hero 9 and the new processor in the Hero 10, I completely um, understand why that would they would make that a critical marketing point of the 10 is the enhanced speed that apparently the new processor will provide. So we'll see. Uh, we're just gonna do some quick speed tests today. This video should be less than three minutes. Um, and we're gonna time, I think Superphoto was a point on the GoPro Hero 9 where, hey, Superphoto was great, but there was always that processing moment, right? And this is at 20 megapixels, and this is closing in on 24 megapixels. So a little bit larger uh, uh, photo size, right? A little bit better detail but we'll see how the new processor handles Superphoto. If it's faster, I'm gonna be really impressed and that will be an updated feature. Uh, sometimes if you're trying to you know, get some good shots, you're sitting there waiting a couple seconds for the Superphoto and that was a bit frustrating. Other thing that I'm excited, we won't test in this video, but in future videos is 4K 120p and uh, A7S III has that. Uh, here you could get that in HD. So having that in 4K, We'll see how it works. Obviously a smaller sensor than a mirrorless camera will provide, but I think in some good lighting conditions, that could be a pretty exciting feature. Let's get to it. Already, one thing I'm noticing, and we'll time it later, is that it switches modes much, much faster. Okay, so here we go. One, two, three. Already done. Still processing, done. One, two, three. Already done. Just finishing. One, two, three. Done. Just now finishing. Pretty dramatic difference there, if you ask me. All right, so now I wanna test out video. They're both in, uh, 4K 60 Super View. All right, once again, GoPro Hero 10 on your left, Hero 9 on your right. One, two, three. We're gonna let it record for 10 seconds. All we're checking out here is when I hit uh, the record button again and it stops recording. What's that buffer? And already past 10 seconds. All right, so maybe a half second. The super photo is really <laughs> where I noticed that difference. Now, on longer videos, does that spread widen? Potentially, right, because there's more data, but just on 15 seconds of 4K 60 super view, uh, I think we could see, maybe not a half second, but we could see some time as opposed to just going back to the photos real quick. significantly different. So just an example of what the new processor can do. Anyway, pretty cool, pretty fast.